Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this short video, uh, another video in our series of videos dealing with probability theory, uh, and in particular when you're presented with contingency tables, okay, uh, what we want to do in this, in this video is to demonstrate how to generate a probability tree. Okay, or a decision tree. And uh, now the contingency table, as I've defined before, is the contingency contingency table is made up of two variables, two categorical variables. Uh, the two variables in this case are work experience or the amount of work experience that on students undertake per week, either three hours per week, six hours per week, or nine hours per week. Uh, and also then, along with that, what their starting salary uh, uh, typically was. Okay, whether it was twenty five thousand euros, forty thousand euros, or thirty five thousand euros. So I've asked 160 students the question. Actually, this this particular example, this contingency taken as ta table is taken out of a past exam paper that we have here at the National College of Ireland, uh, that was written last year by uh, by, uh, by by a colleague of a colleague of mine here. Uh, and it's 160. The, the question itself is: There's 160 students that were asked two questions. How many hours work experience did they undertake, and what their starting salary was? For example, 12 students. These 12 here. Uh, said that they did approximately three hours of work experience a week and that their starting salary was €25,000. Okay. Uh, 48 students said that they did six six hours per week and their starting salary was in around €40,000. Uh, another example would be three students here said that they were on three hours per week with €45,000 starting salary. So this is the contingency table. Uh, what we can also see from the contingency table is that all of the rows have a total value. Okay. Those, the number of students doing three hours per week is 12, seven and three gives us a total of 22. Six hours per week is 24, 48 and 28 gives us a total of 100. And similarly for nine hours, we have six, 12 and 20 gives us a total. 48 students did nine hours uh, work experience per week. Uh, in relation to salaries, there was 12, 24, 6, giving us 42 students were on 25,000 euros, 7, 48, and 12, giving us 67 students on 40,000 euros, and similarly we have 51 students here on 45,000 euros, giving us, when we sum up the margins, either way, either down this particular column here, or across this row here, we get 160 students in total. Okay. And what we'd like to do is construct a probability tree. Now there's two types of probability trees, so we want to construct, construct, a probability tree and what we'd like to show on the probability tree is a number of different things uh, we'd like to show the the marginal probabilities the marginal probabilities abilities uh, we'd also like to show the joint probabilities okay uh, and we'd also maybe we want to show also the conditional the conditional probabilities which we can all get from the probability tree okay uh, so there's two ways we can do it. Uh, the first question is, what's the root of the tree? Uh, so there's two approaches. We either take work experience, work, let's say, experience as the root, uh, and there's three levels for work experience. So if work experience is the root, we've got three possibilities. You can come off for three hours of work. Okay? Uh, you could do six hours of work, or you could do nine hours of work. Okay. Now, so that's one route that we could have, yeah, okay, of the tree. So for each one of these particular branches, okay, so for the three hours, well, people that do three hours could do either have be on 25, 30, or 35,000 euros. So they can be on one of three salaries, 25, 30, or 35,000 euros. Similarly, for people on six hours, they could be on one of three salaries, 25, 40,000 or 35,000 and likewise for nine hours work uh, those people could be on one of three salaries 25 40 and 35 okay? uh, so all of these things have probabilities yeah okay? the probabilities down of each one of these events here okay this this thing here would represent the probability that the person selected at random, if we were to select a person at random, does three hours work. These are called marginal probabilities. They're simple probabilities, okay? These probabilities here, this would be the probability that the person selected does nine hours work. Whereas these things out here on the on the leaves here, okay? Well, we could look at them from two perspectives. This would be the probability that the person selected does three hours work and they're on 25,000 euros. This person here, if they were selected, would be that they did six hours work 
and they were on 3,000 euros. And this person here, if we selected, would be an example of someone selected that does nine hours work and is on 45,000 euros. And all the other possibilities in relation to these, these are called the joint probabilities. So these things here would be the joint probabilities, probabilities, okay? Whereas these things here are called the marginal probabilities. So these are the marginal, the marginal. Okay? And we have to calculate all of them, the marginal probabilities, probabilities. Okay? But look, come here, that's one way to, and sorry, and then the joint probabilities, the joint, the joint probabilities divided by the marginals, yeah, okay, gives us the conditional probabilities, okay, and we'll get back to that now in a few moments. That's one way we could set this tree out. Okay, in this particular case, work experience is the root. But we could set it out in a different way where we have the start and salary as the root. Now I'll do this a little bit smaller here. So we could have, let's say, a starting salary, starting start sal, yeah, salary, okay, could be the root. And there's three branches. You could be 25,000 euros, you could be 30,000 euros, or you could be 35,000 euros, okay? Now, if you're on 25,000 euros, uh, you could be doing three hours work, six hours work, or nine hours work. So three hours, uh, six hours, or nine hours. And likewise, if you're on 30,000 euros, you could also be doing three hours, six hours, nine hours, okay? And finally, if you're on 25,000 euros, you could also be doing three hours, six hours, and nine hours, okay? So this is another way to lay out the same tree. We get a little bit more information, different information here. This time we get the marginal probabilities with respect to with respect to salary type. And we also get the joint probabilities out here. 